so we are back with another video and I just thought I would share with you our blaster dryer that we have for the dogs. Now this we got from the groomers website and I pronounce it Sirocco dryer however it's spelled S-C-I-R-O-C-C-O but I'm calling it Sirocco Dryer anyway, I don't know how she can pronounce it. Um, and this is a versatile combination blaster and dryer which delivers up to 1200 watts of airflow and 1000 watts of heat output. This dryer features variable speeds and heat controls with three temperature settings. And you can also move the arm of the dryer um, and you can turn the, the speed of the air up so that it can penetrate even the thickest of coats. Now, this came with a hose also which you can see dangling from it and the attachments which are just behind. I've not used the hose yet. It also comes, it's a brush motor and also comes with one year limited warranty. So that's good. Um, I still have the, the receipt and everything like that. I've only used it twice so far and the dogs are getting used to it. It comes with the stand and it comes with the arm and the, the hose as well. Now this was expensive but it's something that I'm going to be using all the time now that I'm not taking the dogs to the groomers at all. So I spend about £78 every three months to get my dogs groomed and that's for the both of them together. So you're talking about over £200 really a year. So I spent on this, this was £234.99. Now, in the long run, it's going to do us a long time. Any repair parts I can get online, anything like that, if it breaks down, you can get somebody out to repair it. So, it's easy enough fixed. But with us not taking the dogs to the groomers, this is the best possible way I can dry them and have two hands on the dogs. So, in the long run, I'm going to save money. So, let's just get a closer look. What are you looking at, Roxy? Yes, you don't like it, sure you don't. No, you don't. You don't like it when I turn it on either. So, this is the nozzles here. Now, it's actually smaller. This is smaller than what I thought it was. It's the first time I've actually seen one of these um, in person. I've seen the ones in the dog grooming stores but they have bigger and better ones obviously um, because they're professional dog groomers but this one is just a standard um, dog grooming one and it's this body part is smaller than what I thought it was. So it comes with the stand, you can adjust the height on the stand and it comes with the hose. The hose just attaches onto here. You unscrew this part and you can attach it onto here and you can use these wee nozzles. I'll come on the other side. These wee nozzles that we got with it. Now I've not tried that bit yet. And these are the filters that go in the back here. It's a bit dark, but they go in this vent bit here. There we go. In the vent bit here. So they're just replacements. And as you can see, it's actually gathered up quite a lot of hair already. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so... The blue was the only colour we could pick, but the colour doesn't really matter. So these are the settings. So your on and off switch, your heat switches. Now, this has got three heat settings. So you've got a kind of warm, and then you've got a cold setting, and then you've got your heat setting which isn't actually that hot to be honest. I suppose it needs to be hot, like safe hot for the dog. Um, your on and off switch and your um, speed of the wind power. Now this is the nozzle, this is the standard so it basically just turns up to the full. And I'm going to turn it on and let you guys have a listen. Um, it is quite noisy however it's it's not a kind of frightening loud 
I feel as if, well, I feel as if when I first got it, it was going to take off. However, I've kind of gotten used to the noise and the dogs are getting used to it as well. And every time I'm grooming them, I'm turning it up just a wee bit to get them used to the fuller power. So the good thing also is you can adjust the height or the angle of the um, blaster and this bit also turns round as well so you could maybe have it like that or like that or you know it's easier to dry your dog with. So let's turn it on and get a wee feel. So you'll not hear me but I'll just fiddle about with it and then uh, I'll turn it off. So that's it on the low setting. turn that up pretty full and that was the fullest it could go it does feel as if it's about to take off but it doesn't even feel that powerful when you put your hand under so it's not that bad um, overall I think this is great I find it a lot easier to groom my dogs this way and now that we're growing them long coat it's easier for me to have two hands on the dog and no hands on the dryer. Money well spent and I'm really happy with the purchase and you know, I'll have the link down below of where we got it from. It's quite, quite good. So leave us a comment, subscribe, like um, and we will see you guys later. Bye!